Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my weekly meal plan episodes. Um, Yes, I am still sick. So if you heard my last episode, I was sick, sick, I am still sick. Um, So I am going to do this relatively quickly. I'm just going to run through the episode, not through the episodes, through the recipes. And all of these recipes that I share in my weekly meal plan can be found on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. If you haven't listened before, um, each week on Wednesdays, I just share my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week, uh, just to kind of maybe motivate you to get your meal plan together. Or maybe you might hear a recipe you might want to make. Um, However this might help you, that is fine. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, October 8th. So for Saturday, I'm doing chicken, sausage, peppers, and potatoes, which is from allrecipes.com. I have an electric roaster oven, which I make this in, so it makes it nice and easy. I just throw everything in there and uh, mix it around and let it cook. It's just like chicken thighs and sausage and potatoes and peppers, and it's a great weekend meal because you just kind of throw everything together and let it cook. Um, for Sunday, I'm going to be doing doing pumpkin chili, which is from allrecipes.com. This is a recipe for chili where you use um, pumpkin puree to give it like a nice fall kind of flavor. Um, one of my daughters always asks for that once the fall comes, so I'm going to make that this weekend. And as a side, I'm going to make absolute Mexican cornbread, which is from allrecipes.com. Monday is our hot dog day. We do that once a month on Monday. Um, So very simple, just boiling up some hot dogs. I'm going to do a can of chili and I'm going to make some home fried potatoes in the air fryer. Um, I just take some potatoes, um, dice them up, some peppers and onions, mix it all together with some olive oil and salt and pepper and just cook it up in the air fryer until they're nice and crispy. And um, sometimes I'll, what, what most of my family will do is take those potatoes and peppers and onions and put it on the hot dog to make like an Italian hot dog with that. So that's for Monday. For Tuesday, we always do some type of um, Mexican themed meal. So this week I'm going to be doing Southwest Skillet by Campbell's Kitchen, which is from allrecipes.com. I made this a few weeks ago and everybody really liked it. It's just like one of those skillet kind of um, meals that has like ground beef and um, tomatoes and kidney beans and uh, white rice and mushroom soup and all that kind of stuff. And we served it with nachos, so that was pretty good for a Tuesday, so we're going to have that again. For Wednesday, I'm trying a new recipe that one of my daughters picked out. It's called Creamy Tuscan Salmon Shrimp Pasta from simply-delicious-food.com. We usually do seafood on Wednesdays, so I'm going to be trying that new recipe. And for a side, I'm going to be making air fryer Brussels sprouts, which is also from allrecipes.com. For Thursday, I always do breakfast for dinner or soup and grilled cheese. So this week we're going to be doing um, breakfast for dinner. And I'm going to be making a hash brown breakfast casserole, which is from spendwithpennies.com. The last time I made this, I did just the um, ground sausage that it calls for, like the breakfast sausage. But I felt like there wasn't enough meat in it. Um, compared to like the amount of potatoes and eggs. So this time when I make it, I'm going to do the ground sausage or the breakfast sausage, but then I'm also going to add um, some diced ham. So it'll be like a mixture of like the sausage and ham and the eggs and the potatoes. So that is for Thursday. For Friday, I'm doing slow cooker Salisbury steak, which is also from allrecipes.com. I get a lot of recipes from there. Um, I really love this meal in like the fall and winter It's like Salisbury steaks, if you've never had them, it's kind of like a hamburger type patty um, cooked in like a brown gravy. So that one, you kind of just, you make the um, patties and you just kind of um, brown them like really quickly in a pan and then you put that along with other ingredients for the gravy in the crock pot and it cooks um, for like four or five hours, I think. 
So we're going to do that. Then I'm going to do easy oven roasted potatoes, which is from Pillsbury.com um, on the side, and then some frozen vegetables, which is um, just, I usually just kind of keep some on hand, those like steam fresh kind. So I'll just look and see what I have and I'll throw that in the microwave and that will be for our other side for this dish. So that is it for this week's meal plan. I really hope this was helpful to you or motivating to you in some way. Um, so that's it. I will see you here next week. Thank you. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see your listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.